What's up guys and gals, this is Nathan, back with another episode of Comic Coloring Tips and Tricks. Uh, today, um, I quite figured out what to call it, I don't know, I guess like a building a quick palette, the, using the brush engine, I don't know. Um, how to get quick hue shifts from the brush engine. I know, I'll figure out, I'll put something fancy in the in the title, I guess. Uh, but what we're looking at right now is a page, uh, well, it's, it's a Stray Bullets short story. This is page one of it, of course. Um, written by Dave Lapham. Uh, if you haven't read any Stray Bullets, you're doing yourself a great disservice. <laughs> I mean, most of the stuff is, uh, is black and white. But his uh, his brushwork and everything is just phenomenal, and the stories he tells, especially if you're into, you know, kind of crime noir, you know, slice of life, even though it's like maybe messed up kind of life, uh, it's really really good stuff. Uh, one of my definitely one of my long time running favorite comics. Uh, this story here was actually first printed in Noir, which was a not really a trade paperback because it wasn't a collection. It, it was a collection or kind of, I guess, like an anthology. You know, so there's like a bunch of short stories that were done and published, you know, kind of, not all of them were like straight up crime noir, but, you know, kind of fit in that noir, um, I guess, uh, genre. You know, so you had stuff written by like Brian Azzarello, I think, uh, uh, Jeff Lemire had a story in there. Um, I don't have my copy in front of me. Um, but yeah, pick it up. It's on Amazon. It's really cheap and such good stories. Um, but yeah, Noir is published by Dark Horse Comics, I believe, back in 2009. Um, yeah, <laughs> going back to the past. But it's, it's a great book. You should pick it up. Um, but enough of that. Um, I decided to take a crack at do some coloring. Uh, you know, just on a short story. Um, and one of the things I wanted to do, I mean, you might see, like, colors from the past, like Pamela Rambo, or, um, you know, a lot of the old DC colorists, where they could just have, like, a nice um, muted, almost monochromatic palette going across the page. Um, Dave Stewart's really good at it. Matt Hollingsworth is really good at it. Um, yeah, those are like the main ones that really pop off. You know, it's like the masters of that kind of style. You know, those books from the from the mid '90s, you know, coming out from Dark Horse and uh, and uh, you know DC Vertigo. But um, you know, so I don't know. My the colors here, they're not really even like local colors. Uh, you know, some of them are you know still too saturated and and everything. But you know, there's a quick way. You know, you could go about it, I suppose. Um, you know, if we just have a new layer, and then, I don't know, drop... And this is like a nighttime scene, so it's perfect for this. You could drop in, uh, you know, dark blue. Uh, you can see, you know, where it's at here. Um, you know, maybe drop it to overlay. And uh, you see it's like very saturated, you know, really makes it a lot more saturated. So let's go ahead and bring that down. So you can kind of see, like, in this uh, top panel, you know, we're getting the look, you know, that we're going for. You know, you could desaturate it even more, I think. Looks pretty good. And then maybe... Oops. Close that. And then maybe saturate, you know, this blue that we're using here some more, that we're overlaying. Maybe we're seeing a little bit more of that popping in. And then maybe, uh, you know, we'll get these skin tones darker. You need to fit in more with the color scheme. Uh, these whites, of course, are way too bright for what we're going for. So we're going to darken those as well. 
Oops, forgot her sock right there. So you can see, you know, what's happening, you know, just like in, a, in, I don't know, maybe not even a minute, you know, we're able to, to get something, you know, to work off of, you know, now, you know, on our flats layer, we just go through and adjust, you know, what's left, what didn't, what didn't work, you know, but we did so much of it just here, you know, just by those two layers. Uh, but you know, sometimes you'll get you'll just get like wacky, you know, bright colors back from your flatter. Or if you're flattening yourself, you're not really concerned about uh, the colors you're you're choosing. So you know, so this is this is one way you know we can go about it. Uh, it's kind of messing with the brush a little bit, and um, you know, I found like some some fun stuff. So I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna get a. This is my hard brush, and this should just be like you know, on your top of your presets. Uh, it's just gonna be like you know, one of these guys, whatever suits your fancy. But what we're looking at in the tip shape, you know, there's no angle, 100% roundness. Uh, hardness is 100%. You know, spacing is down to to one. That's a uh, that's what I use like for my hard brush. Um, you know, and usually as well, like my opacity on both my flow were at 100%. Uh, so. Yeah, kind of what we're looking at is just a, you know, oops. You know, just a regular old uh, brush, hard brush. Um, you know, but what, I'm, what we're going to do, let's go down to color dynamics. And what this will do, this will, like, you know, whenever we touch down or move our brush around, it's going to give us, you know, these color shifts that we're looking for. Um, and to make that easier, I'm going to go ahead and, oops, not that, I'm going to go to my brush tip shape, and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and put the spacing, you know, back on there. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it is, but I'm just giving it enough, that way that I can see individual circles, and you'll see why in a, in a second. Um, and I think that looks okay. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these colors in here. I'm on a new layer on top of everything now, right? So you can see, now just in that quick instant, I'm getting all these different colors in between. Uh, you know, it's just taking this color, you know, from the skin tones and just shifting it, you know, based on what I have on here, you know, so it's gonna shift the hue, you know, 26% one way or 26% the other way, so, uh, the saturation and the, the brightness as well. You know, so we can mess with those, you know, if you want like more uh, more hue jitter, you know, so we're, you're starting to see like, oh, here's some more, you know, purples, here's some, you know, more yellows and stuff like that popping in. Um, and it's fun to try it out with different ones. Uh, but for this look that we're going for, I think it's best if we have just like a neutral, you know, this like a, I guess kind of a bluish gray. Um, but you can see, you know, the ones that we're getting in here, I'm going to lower this. All right. Let me clear that out and do another one. So just from just from this, I'm, I'm going to use these as my palette, right? So let's say uh, for his skin tones, right? Okay, that's all. Uh, let's use this one here. This one's kind of close to a skin tone, right? Oops. Let me turn all this stuff off. It's kind of close to. To a skin tone, a tongue. Um, maybe we'll skip that. <laughs> yeah, let's see, like a jacket color. Maybe this one here is kind of close to that. Uh, his little emblem. I don't know, maybe this guy. Um, let's see, the trees. Where's a nice, what we could we could think is like brown or something. Maybe this one. Looks kind of cool. Uh, let's see, this one here. Let's see, like a green. Maybe they go kind of. Now this one here, here is kind of nice right there. Uh, let's see, darker kind of green, maybe this one. And we go back to that green, that's fine. Uh, this blue here could be this. Maybe that color there. Uh, let's see, dark blue. This guy right here. Yellow for the blonde hair. Um, let's try that one. 
Uh, I guess that's the one, same one we're using for the... Yeah, that one looks good. Okay. Yeah, the other one we're, was the same one we're using for the skin tones that didn't quite work out. Uh, let's see her top right here. Let's go with that. Oh, not too bright. There. His shirt. Let's see. Maybe we'll go with this one here. And you know, these don't have to be the final colors. You know, we're not we're not married to these or anything. Um, you know, you just go back in. We have something to start with. You know, and then we can go ahead and make small adjustments if we want to or whatever. Or so like this one here is just too similar to the jeans. Uh, so let's go ahead and change that a little bit lighter. Okay, not that lighter. I just pick a different starting point like that. Yeah, that looks all right. Um, we get like a you know just add a little bit more variations in there, getting these colors like where we want them. But I mean, you guys see you see where I'm coming at with this, right? I mean, it's just like really fast, really easy. You know, just like that, you know, we already have, you know, switched up the colors to this other, you know, palette, just really quickly doing that. So yeah, I think that'll do it for that. Uh, maybe just add a little bit of, just a tad bit of red in there. You know, uh, I think it's a little bit of this, oops, no, you, oops. Where is that? Okay, there we go. Not you, but you. Just a little bit more green. There's some blue in there as well. And we can darken this as well. Let's see. I don't want to go too dark. Maybe like this bluish color. A little bit darker. But yeah, you see where, where we're going? And just by using the you know the color dynamics on the brush, we just built a little mini palette for us to use. And um, you know, yeah, I guess that's gonna do it for this one. Um, sorry, it's a little late. Um, yeah, I said like, you know, work stuff, some personal stuff uh, pop up in this past week. So I've been trying to play catch up all week long on stuff. Um, yeah, hope you like it. Um, you know, this would also be great, you know, if you're doing, like, roof uh, shingles to make them more interesting. If you want to grab, like, some color variation, you know, just turn down the the color dynamics on your brush just a little bit more. Uh, and they'll get them more, like, in the same in the same family. You know, so you could do, uh, you know, like, you do the Spanish tiles. You can do them like that. You know, just a little bit of... Oops, that's on that same layer. You know, or like bricks to make them more interesting. Uh, you know, instead of just like one flat color or whatever, and you don't have to go through and like, okay, this little section, let me pull up, you know, my color balance. Uh, let me pull up my hue saturation, you know, or levels or whatever for each one. You know, just do this on a layer on top of everything. I mean, like, oh, bam, there's a color palette right there to choose from. Bunch of swatches. Uh, you really didn't have to work too much for. But, yeah, let me, oops, wrong one. Let me fix that tongue finally, and then, uh, yeah, let's desaturate it some. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And we shall see you guys soon. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.